Hello big time adventurers and welcome to patch point two seven. We all have been eagerly waiting for the next patch, but before we get started, we have a couple of small announcements. First, we'd like to thank our Discord community for all the invaluable feedback and support, as well as our player council members who for the last two weeks have been helping balance and find bugs in the game. Next, due to a large number of changes to progression and early game balance, all player data will be wiped for this update. Now, let's get started. Patch.27 embark on a new questline, a temporal anomaly, to unravel Benjamin Franklin's enigmatic mysteries and navigate through time's distortion. The fate of the fractured timeline awaits your discerning actions. Play through two exciting chapters with a brand new boss encounter. And it doesn't end there. Be on the lookout for more chapters in future patches. Next, there are multiple new objectives to challenge you as you complete adventure instances in big time. Annex strategically place strongholds, power up entanglers, and reactivate and feed the chronographer in order to re-establish timeline continuums. New objectives are just the tip of the iceberg. There have been substantial changes to adventure instances. All existing objectives in adventure instances, as well as the elemental monitor encounter, have been reworked and balanced based on community feedback. Rare higher difficulty instances will now appear occasionally throughout the game, if you're ready for the challenge. Forest dungeons have had many aspects of their visuals improved, and some new surprises await you in the Egyptian adventure instances. Watch your step! To take on new challenges, you'll need some new abilities in your arsenal. Each class in Big Time is getting new skills to help you tackle anything that stands in your way. Moving on to the user interface, a new inventory section has been added to store crafting materials separately from the main inventory. The number of material slots available can be upgraded via the passive skill tree. Along with materials, a new inventory section has been added to store pocket watches. The number of available pocket watch slots can be upgraded via the passive skill tree. And finally, a new larger version of the minimap can now be activated in-game to give you a broader view of your surroundings. As always, this is just a small taste of what's in store for you in Patch.27. Be sure to check out all the patch notes linked in the description to get a full list of all the changes coming to the game. Until next time, adventurers, we'll see you in time's end.